was obvious from the beginning that AWS is the only one that could scale to where we were hoping to go. My name is Charity Majors. I work for Parse. Parse is a platform for mobile developers. So if you are an iOS or Android or Windows developer and you want to build an app, what Parse lets you do is just work on your app. If you have a startup with just a couple of people, building on top of Parse is like you just hired a team of 20 like of the best back-end engineers in the world to also work on scaling your app for you. Parse is completely hosted on AWS. Uh, we have been since the very first instance was brought up for the founders to start testing their very first code snippets. Parse was acquired by Facebook in May of 2013. We've gone from zero apps to 180,000 apps hosted on Parse in like a year and a half. And that's insane. And if you had asked us 18 months ago, how many apps are you guys going to be hosting and what are your needs going to be to handle those apps, we would have kind of gone, I guarantee you we would not have come up with the right number. <laughs> and AWS has allowed us to not even have to think about that. There was one time that we woke up the next morning and realized that our traffic had tripled. We were pretty small at this point, but there was an, uh, a Norway death metal band who was using Parse who released an album, and all of a sudden, uh, they were accounting for like almost all of our traffic. And this is when we realized that the processes that we had in place for bringing up more capacity were kind of the traditional sort of data center deployment model where, you know, you, you bring up new nodes, you deploy code, you restart everything, and it takes, you know, a couple of hours to really get a bunch of new servers up. And this is when we realized that there are a lot of uh, responsive and up-to-the-minute elastic provisioning techniques that we weren't really taking advantage of, you know, baking it into an AMI and having, you know, uh, continuous deployment that's that's building your artifact and sticking it in S3 in a format where we can just you know pull it down in a matter of minutes and get new servers up. So we actually reduced our provisioning time even on AWS. You know we reduced our provisioning time of a bank of servers from approximately two hours a year ago to like five minutes as of now. And AWS has definitely made that easy. When you say web scale, what you're really saying is can scale to infinity, and that's not actually true ever, but AWS comes as close to being true as anything that actually exists on the web today.